In this video, I'll show you how to use Excel to find the binomial distribution. So here we have the example from the lecture where it states that 35% of the population support a new regulation. And if a random sample of 10 voters is polled, what is the probability for a particular event? And we have three possible events here that we get to practice our binomial distribution with. So in this first scenario, where it says exactly three of our voters support the proposition, so we want to note that the probability is stated as x equals 3. That's our event of interest. So when we're looking for an exact number, you're going to use this formula right here. And I also make notes down here, um, kind of like as the rule of thumb of which formula to use in general. So let's go ahead and see it in action. So if I type in equals, binom dot dist and you can see in Excel it tries to pre-populate or suggest what you're looking for so you can keep typing it or you can just double click on it it will finish setting it up for you so here the number of successes uh, in our uh, scenario is exactly three so I'll type in three the number of trials that we have that's our sample size that's 10 type in a comma here is the probability of success, and that's given to us at 35% uh, or 0 0.35. And then it's going to ask us, are you looking for the cumulative probability? Since we're looking for an exact number, we are not looking for the cumulative distribution function, so you'll type in false. We are looking for an exact uh, value. And then when you hit enter, we get the probability of exactly three people supporting the proposition at 0 0.2522. Let's look at the next scenario. Three or fewer of our voters support the proposition. So again, we have to write that as a probability statement. So three or fewer is the same as saying x is less than or equal to three, because three or fewer includes three, two, one, or zero voters supporting the proposition. So I'm going to go ahead and use this formula right here. So uh, here we would type in equals binom.dist parentheses. The number of successes here, we'll type in 3. The number of trials, that's our sample size of 10, and our probability of 0 0.35. And now this time, we do want the cumulative probability because I want to add up all the probabilities of 0 up to 3 because I want three or fewer voters. So I will type in true. Close my parentheses and then go ahead and hit enter. And so our probability that three or less voters support the proposition will be 0 0.5138. So recall that with Excel and with our binomial distribution or any distribution, it reads from left to right. So as we do cumulative, you're adding up the probabilities starting from zero and up to whatever number you're interested in. Knowing this, that allows us to do the problem we did that three or fewer support the proposition. And then now let's look at this third scenario. What if it asks more than three voters support the proposition? So we have to write that as a probability statement in that more than three means four or more. So that's x is greater or equal to four. So this is the probability that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 voters support the proposition. So you wanna be um, careful on how you set up your probability statements because it will affect uh, your formula. So since I'm interested in four or more, and I know that in Excel it's cumulative, so it reads left to right. That means I'm going to use the complement rule in that if I want four or more, that means I don't want the probability or of three or less. So that's why we type in one, because all of my probabilities combined equal to one, minus the binomial distribution of, and in this case, I don't want, or I'm going to subtract uh, three or fewer that support the proposition. So that's why I'm going to type in three for my number of successes. My trials are still 10 and my probability is still 0 0.35 comma and it is true. It is cumulative in that this part of the formula right here, that's the probability of zero to three people supporting the proposition. But I want to know the probability of four or more. That's why I subtract from one so that I get the complement uh, of this um, 
binomial distribution right here. I hit enter and I get the probability that more than three people support the proposition at 0 0.4862. If you have any questions, just let me know.